Episode 3 of The Boys Season 4 starts with the sign that all is not well with Homelander. Throughout the latest Fort Conference, Homelander points out the Starliers are the biggest threat to America, but mentally, he's definitely struggling. To take the focus away from him, Homelander announces Sister Sage and Firecracker as the two newest members of the Seven. He's also keeping one of the spots open for his son, Ryan. There are cracks beginning to show in Fort's HQ too, especially as Sage continues to disagree with Homelander and his tactics. However, there's no denying that Firecracker is effective in her messaging. In fact, a random mid middle-aged guy shows up at Starlight HQ not long after, claiming that they house kids in the basement and he's there to save them. When he draws a gun, Frenchie appears and defuses the situation by knocking him down. While this is going on, over at Newman's HQ, the team contemplate whether they start an anti-soup campaign and ban them outright. Robert Singer, one of the executive men there, believes Fort has been calling the shots for far too long and it's time to change that. While Butcher uses Kessler in his crusade to try and get Ryan back, Kimiko recruits Frenchie to join her in confronting her past and getting back at the traffickers. Over at the other side of Vault HQ, Double M wants to try and flip A-Train to join their side. He's clearly ready to turn after the intel from the last episode and Double M believes he could be their inside guy. That's probably for the best given Sage has now taken over Ashley's position as CEO of the Seven. She immediately grills the team regarding the leaked footage from Crime Analytics. Deep is no longer going to be in charge of that department and he's also in the fire line for this information leaking in the first place. Deep stress spills over to his pet octopus, Ambrosius, whom he's currently dating. She suggests they take a vacation but Deep thinks it's way too risky. And this is of course the same octopus that we saw in season three that he was getting intimate with. Either way, Deep leaves the octopus on its own. Double M meets A-Train and uses the leverage of them killing three innocent people to try and get him to turn. Although A-Train initially curses him out, it's clear that the member of the Seven is going to think about it. It can't come soon enough though, given over at Vought, Homelander kills a woman who confesses to giving Annie their data. Firecracker shows up to see Annie, who is incredulous over exactly why the vlogger hates her so. It turns out she had a previous alias, Sparkler, and she came second place to Starlight in a competition. The reason for this hatred stems from Annie making up a rumour about her having a gangbang with the judges. Not only that, but after the competition she also cursed out Firecracker and called her fat too. This explains why she hates Annie so much and why she has a chip on her shoulder. Ryan shows up to see Butcher, and while the pair hang out, he sees a more empathetic side to Butcher when he mentions the person he hurt. It's a very different style to Homelander's cold demeanour and hearing his honesty about not being able to look after a kid and how scared he is to do right by Becca certainly gets through to him. Elsewhere, Kimiko and Frenchie bust into a warehouse to find the traffickers. It's Frenchie's turn not to be sober as he ends up hallucinating the whole time Kimiko is on the offensive. He sees Colin, a bathtub, dead bodies and even little Nina too. It's a pretty cool and stylish segment and eventually ends with the pair leaving. With everyone off doing side gigs this episode, the only ones left to plant the bug at Fort on Ice are Huey and Double M. With Huey in the vents, he overhears Homelander giving some words of advice to Victoria regarding being proud of herself, living up to her legacy as a suit. Unfortunately, Huey sweats profusely and a drop lands on Homelander's shoulder. As he sniffs it, Homelander immediately realises Huey is in the vents and he chases after him. Chaos and bloodshed ensues as Huey tries to escape, but it's A-Train of all people who actually picks him up and moves him to safety. It's a shocking turn of events and rather ironic actually that it's super speed, the very thing that ruined Huey's life in the first place, that sets him up for being saved. A little calmer than before, Huey shows at the hospital and speaks to his mum. It turns out she left because she was depressed. This never went away and it ate away at her inside. Getting dressed was like climbing Everest and she even tried to kill herself. It was life or death for her and that's why she eventually packed up her stuff and left Huey. Meanwhile, the Deep shows to see Sage and argues with her regarding the crime analytics department fiasco. However, this quickly turns into a lustful sexual encounter between the pair fueled by food. At the same time, Ryan shows back up to see Homelander, who can smell Butcher on him. Homelander bemoans Ryan, believing that he's not good enough and eventually smashes the window. When Ryan hightails it away, Homelander hears a voice and begins seeing himself in the shattered remnants in the mirror. He's suffering from a clear mental breakdown and believes his need for love is a sickness. In order to stop that, Homelander is going to go home. And that is where episode three of The Boys season four comes to an end. Thanks for watching and do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like or subscribe to the channel, your support is very much appreciated. I'm Greg Wheeler and from all of us over here at The Review Geek, we'll see you on the next video.